Hi, this is Cat White, and in this video, users of Premiere Pro CS5 will learn how to zoom in on a clip in the sequence. As you can see, I have my project open, and I have a number of pictures on my timeline. And so what I'm going to do is select the last picture, which is of my dog Simon, and we're going to use this one as our example. In order to bring it up in the source meter, which is up in the top center of the page, I'm going to double click on that and that brings up a rather blurry pixelated version of Simon. And then what I'm going to do is choose Effect Controls. When I choose Effect Controls tab, I'm going to need to change motion and that's how you zoom in. So I'm going to expand motion by using the little triangle to the left and that's going to reveal both position and scale. I'm going to need to change both of those. One of the first things you have to decide when you are zooming in on a picture is you need to decide when you want it to start zooming and how long you would like that zoom to take place. Simon is on the screen for about 10 seconds and so what I would like, here's the end of the transition, and I would like him to be on the screen for about two seconds before the transition starts. So I'm going to move the blue handle over about two seconds, right about there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my first two keyframes. Position, I'm going to set the position keyframe, and I'm going to set the scale keyframe. As you can see, I now have two diamonds on the timeline, and that shows me that that's where the keyframes are. That's where the change is going to start taking place. Now, I would like a relatively slow zoom, about two seconds, because this is on the screen for about 10. So I'm going to move the cursor over for about another two seconds, right there. And I'm going to set two more keyframes, position and scale. Now, I can always adjust these later, and I'll show you that in just a minute. So now what I would like to do first is I would like to adjust the scale. It's important to do scale first because then you can adjust the position based on how the picture looks once you've zoomed in. I would like Simon's face to be the focus, basically a little triangle between his eyes and nose. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in until I have dog face, about like that. Now. At this point, most of his dog face is off the screen. So what I need to do is move him onto the screen. So I'm going to come over to the preview, and I'm going to click on that, which is going to bring up this little bullseye. What I want is the center of Simon's face on that bullseye. I don't move the bullseye to Simon. I move Simon to the bullseye. So I'm going to go over and click on Simon's face, and I'm going to move the center of his face right about there, to the bullseye. And what that will do is it'll zoom in and reposition him at the same time. Now I need to test this out. So what I'm going to do is come down, grab the blue handle on my timeline, and I'm going to hit the play button. And there's Simon. And we zoom in, and it's a nice smooth zoom in with his nose. That's good. That's pretty good. Now, that was a little faster than what I would like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reposition the two keyframes and slow down the zoom. So I'm moving that blue handle to kind of give myself a target. And I'm going to go up and grab the keyframe, first for position, and move that over. And then I'm going to grab the keyframe for scale, move that over. And now I'm going to move that handle back before the change starts. I'm going to click play again to preview much slower zoom this time, and again, it stops right where I want it. And that's all there is to zooming in on an image in Premiere Pro.